Another chilling murder in Karnataka's Mangaluru in three days. 23-year-old Fazal was hacked to death with weapons, lethal weapons, by an unidentified group in Suratka in the outskirts of Mangaluru. The boy was immediately shifted to a hospital and was declared brought dead. Keeping in view of the sensitivity of the situation, police have imposed prohibitory orders. Cops say the motive behind this crime and the identity of the culprits is being investigated. Holiday has been declared for schools and colleges in this area and also in Mulki, in Panabur and Bajpayee because of the murder at the New Market Road in Suratka. On the 26th of July, BJP worker was also killed by assailants on a bike with lethal weapons. Police are probing this case. I'm at the New Market Road in Suratkal where a Muslim youth was assaulted by at least three to four people at around 8 p.m. last night. The police are still investigating the incident. Uh, police have been deployed in the area to make sure that there are no untoward incidents because this is a very sensitive area here. Uh, Section 144 has also been imposed in the area. Uh, what we know so far is that uh, Fazil, the one who was assaulted, uh, have, have died on the spot. This is according to the locals. However, the police are yet to ascertain what really happened so far. Uh, the police commissioner, Shashi Kumar, has also uh, refused to link anything with the murder of Praveen Nittare, the BJP youth wing worker who was murdered on Tuesday night. Uh, the investigation is still underway. With camera person uh, Shemurti Gurumad, this is Priyanka Rudrapa for India Today. We will be taking up a case in Suratkar Police Station. This area is considered to be very sensitive with respect to these kind of incidents. In order to ensure peace and there is no law order disturbance, I as Police Commissioner of the University passing an order for prohibitory order under Section 144 of CRPC for Police Station jurisdictions of Suratkar, Panambu, Mulki and Bajpur. Apurva Jaitandran is getting us more details in the story from Mangaluru. More tensions there. Even as we deal with the first murder that was reported just a few days ago of a BJP youth wing leader, we had this one. The police are on their toes really pretty much, but give us an idea of the investigations in this entire matter, Apurva. There's a lot that is uh, ongoing right now. We already just saw two days back, like you rightly mentioned, a murder of a BJP uh, youth wing cadre. And now, yesterday, there is yet another uh, shocking murder that took place in Suratkal. Uh, remember, police are investigating into both of these matters as well. In fact, in uh, the previous murder, that is of the BJP uh, youth wing cadre who had been uh, brutally murdered there, uh, what we are able to ascertain is that two people so far have been arrested. Uh, police have also uh, said that both of them are likely uh, having links to PFI and STPI. Uh, these two people, that is, uh, uh, both of them below the age of 30, two of them have been arrested with respect to this case, that is, uh, the murder of, of Praveen there. And yesterday, in fact, uh, there has been yet another murder, a gratuitous murder uh, that had taken place. The gratuitous murder uh, not only was of... Uh, one uh, one person in Suratkal, in fact, it is in that area which is in fact very sensitive area as well. Uh, we are also learning that this murder that had taken place uh, took place late in the night, that is around 8, 8, 15 p.m. And uh, it, it took place right outside uh, this uh, person's shop. In fact, the police uh, are trying to maintain law and order has set in place section 144 in across uh, four uh, of uh, these uh, places, that is including uh, Suratkal and uh, three other places in and around this area to ensure that the law and order uh, just uh, does continue and the law order uh, the law and order situation does not uh, rise into anything that had happened uh, when it was with the case of Praveen and there was a lot of lati charge and a law and order that had gone into chaos. So a lot of uh, details yet to be ascertained. The police are still trying to see if there are links to this suicide that, uh, sorry, uh, I'm sorry, this murder that took place yesterday in connection to that of uh, Praveen's, uh, that is the BJP yes, uh, youth wing leader's murder. But uh, uh, the police do say preliminary investigations is still underway and it is yet to be ascertained if this was a murder that had been caused uh, tying right. to that of Praveen. So investigation is ongoing as of now. But with respect to this mm. case, uh, no arrests have been so far made. Uh, in fact, uh, 
what we are yes apurva apurva getting us all of those details and thanking you for the moment